Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Galactic Civilizations 3 as the almost your. So I'm, I was looking at this, look at the population spike, it's just nuts. Like we just went, like 10 billion your just showed up out of nowhere. They're like, hey, what's up? Where are the your? And we just went, whoa. Um, anyway, it's kind of cool. And we're about to uh, finish assembly on the homeworld, so we'll have an extra 2 billion citizens here. Which is going to be good. I believe it's in billions, right? It doesn't really say, it's just 10. 10 people. Let's we'll call it 10 people. It's just 10 robots. That makes a lot more sense than 10 billion. But anyway, I think it is billions. At least it wasn't Galaxy 3. Or sorry, 2. Alright, next turn. So, Livius the Third. That is going to be a very important base for us. We have a Yor. What's this here? We've got a Snathy shipyard. Okay, so the Snathy, they are a, a minor race. Let's get 11.2 manufacturing per turn, 150 hit points, no ships defending it. It does have quite a bit of base defense. Um, unlike in Galsif 2, where they didn't really have any automatic defense, it seems like ships pretty much always have some defense. Like, um, sorry, like shipyards and um, star bases and all that stuff. Well, of course, we're not hostile with him, so, so that's good. Um, Alright, so... On the homeworld, we did finish our growth, so we're up to 12 population now. Worked on the power matrix, and then I think after that we'll do some more assembly. Are we going to get, like, low approval? We're very sad right now, apparently. Large Empire penalty 3. Uh, every colony we take apparently is going to give us penalties to the morale by base. Civilization capital bonus kind of offsets that a bit. Sad. So what that really affects, all I've seen, is just your resistance. How much resistance you have um, to when you're being defended. Um, and that's about it, because I haven't seen any kind of penalties to production or taxation. I haven't seen any penalty. There is a penalty to population growth, but that's not gonna affect us. So we don't really care. The robots can be miserable. It's fine with me. All right, um, how is that ship coming? Hey, we almost have it, yay. I want power matrix. On, on Olivia's the third as well. This thing's making us quite a bit of income. We don't need income from this thing. We really don't need money at all right now. Let's just focus on, uh, you know, lots of this stuff. And military production is none because we're not currently building any ships because our ships just got finished. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really think we need the money. But we're doing totally fine on money. We're still making money even though um, I'm just not focused on it much. This will help us get the power magic done a lot quicker. Alright, let's go to Bad Crumble again. Bad Crumble's working on um, a manufacturing yore. This planet kind of sucks for the, uh, the power matrix. But we have to build it. It's just, it's so good. The maintenance cost is insignificant. Synthetic population cap is no big deal. Let's build the power matrix up there, I guess. It'll take a while to make that one. Oh, right. You know what? We probably do need to build another shipyard now, because this one's really far away. If I were to assign this to this shipyard, let's see how big the penalty is. 21 units. 37.5% distance penalty. That's pretty significant, but... I suppose what we could do on this planet for now is just have zero focus on military, so we're not wasting any points. And then when we go look at the shipyard, we're going to see that we're getting, uh... Oh! Are we, we're automatically getting one point no matter what? Cool! Well, that's nice. One point for free, I'll take it. So these people are very unhappy. What a bunch of whiners. Power Matrix, make it. Population cap is 16. Let's do, uh... We'll queue up some more assembly. I'm gonna just queue up assemblies to get them up to a population cap, and then... And then, uh... That way I won't forget, hopefully. So you are at 12, and you've got one queued. Let's get a second queued. And Bad Crumble. Population cap of 16. You need some serious assembly. Assemble the Yore. Alright, power matrix is going to be done on the next turn, collective manufacturing next turn, 
And we have a shipyard that's idle. We can make a prototype probe if we had um, some Promethean. I think what we need to do now, we've, we've built our first probe ship. Um, we, we've we already colonized two planets, so I think we're doing pretty well on that front. Let's go ahead and build a build Mark II. Um, now this is the automatically generated ship, right? Every time you get new technology, it's just going to automatically generate ships, ships for you. Um, what we can do is we can actually go into the designer and change this ship. I can't change this exact one, but I can use this design to make my own. So, if we look at this ship, we'll use the design, and we can see what it's got. It's got... Oh no, we have a runtime error. No! The game just crashed! No! Please don't tell me it quit! Alright, I want to reload it. Apparently, Galsif 3 is not... Oh. Apparently, there's an update available. Probably to fix the runtime error. If I had to guess. Alright, downloading it like 20 megabytes a second. Just bear with the black screen, I apologize. It's not my fault, really. Stupid Galsiv 3. Play game. Come on, game. I told you to run. Oh, okay, did not like my hook. How are we looking now? Are we good? Are we good? There we go, we're back. Well, I know that the game's set to autosave, so hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we didn't lose much. Let's find out. Uh, load game, autosave, load. One must assume that the uh, the bug will not happen again. I don't even know what what caused it. All right, so we're on turn 14. Collective manufacturing is not applicable, applicable turns away. Livius the third is still at uh, 10 population, so that all happened. Excellent. And how are we doing on ship construction? So it looks like we just missed one turn. Okay, good. We'll just try to repeat that turn then. Had I assigned? Maybe that's why I had the runtime error. Had I assigned the, uh, Livius, assign it, and then we'd gone to Livius, we'd governed the planet, and made it focus on pretty much solely these things. Go like down there, all social, done, done, and shipyards idle. Oh, right, and then we were looking at the, the ship itself. And we had gone into the designer. And we were going to do the build mark 2, use design. And we were right here and the game crashed. Okay, we're good. We're good. See, no problem. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry about the black screen if you, you know, 30 seconds or so. But, um, so what do we have installed? We've got a constructor module, environmental support, environmental support, hyperdrive plus, environmental support, environmental support, interstellar sensors, and a second hyperdrive plus. So the total cost to build this thing is 136. It's kind of expensive. We could make our own where we get rid of some of the frills. And, um, or I think I've actually seen it generate like, um, short range constructors and stuff. Let's go ahead and build our own though without some of this frilly extra stuff. We already have tons of movement. We don't need lots of support. We don't need sensors. Really, I just want bare bones constructor module. That's it. So we're going to make it very, very boring, and we're going to save it. This is going to be the um, short range instructor. Role is assault. No. Support ship. Save. So now we have our short range constructor done. So our star base is going to build, or the shipyard is going to build a short range constructor. A couple of them actually, because we gotta get a star base started. Star bases are very important, I think. Okay, so what do we want to do next? 
Collective manufacturing, one turn away. Idle ship. We have our probe here. Okay, so it auto-launched it for us. We'll just have you automatically explore. You've got six moves, 19 range. Cool. Um, go ahead and explore. And we'll end this turn. I was so scared that we lost Livius the Third. I, I was really, really terrified, actually. All right. So, uh, all right. We have the research is complete. Bringing order to new worlds is a challenge. So we can now make the manufacturing collective and the research collective. They're slightly better. Notice how it's got a uh, manufacturing bonus of 20%. Maintenance cost is slightly higher. We can also build a Starbase factory, which is a module on a Starbase, which increases the bonus to all planets within its radius. And same thing with the research one. So, let's go choose a new thing. I don't actually like this interface at all. I like the tech tree. Alright, manufacturing specialization, improvement level plus one. Research plus 10, or manufacturing costs go down. Well... I want to get to the ion drive soon. And we'll go with hard drive, hyperdrive specialization now. Every ship is working, we're making our short range constructor. We only have the one star base. Or, uh, sorry, construction place. It's already, it's queued up the manufacturing collectives. It's set to automatically upgrade them. The problem is, if you, okay, we undo this, right? So we had the manufacturing your. This is the initial one that we started with. Plus, it's cost 30. Manufacturing plus 10, with a cost of 0.3. This one is 50, 15 more points. 50% more expensive, but it provides twice the bonus. The problem is that to build the manufacturing collective, to upgrade a structure, it costs the full price. And it costs us, we're paying even more. So if I had to choose, I'd rather not upgrade these, not while we have available tiles. I'd rather just build them, like build one here. If I'm gonna spend 50 points, I'd rather build it here. Right? Hmm. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it won't let me do it until I upgrade him. That kind of felt like what it was doing. Oh, okay, okay, no. I am totally, totally crazy. Dis disconsider, don't consider what I said. You have to build them from the ground up. I didn't realize. Okay, if you have to build them up from the ground up, then there is... Yeah, okay, that's fine then. So we build another collective here. We could have three. I think we need more population on this planet. Let's just do some assembly. Assemble the citizens. Alright. I think we're good. Hyperdrive specialization. Now there are more planets available. We do want to colonize these things. We got a class 15 paradise. Another class 15 paradise. I mean, just holy crap. Um, yeah, we need to build some more colony ships. Um, I take it back. My god. I'm amazed. Um, we need to build some seed ships. Like, now. To buy this, two thousand. let's just buy it. I need a seed ship, like, right now. Wow. I didn't even I did not realize they were that good. We can throw three population from the home world onto it. I think we should. Every population we put on here is going to get doubled when we colonize. So yeah. Let's do it. And then let's grab our seed ship and we'll send you to here. Two class 15 paradises. Or no, that's a oh, Okay, the tooltip didn't update. I was going to say the chances of them both being the exact same seems really small. This is, it's still good. It's a class 10 lush. And when it says lush, it just means it's class 10. But we need to go here. I want the other one as well. I want to colonize everything. I think I might even buy a second one. 
We'll just uh, let's just rush it. Where, where am I looking for? Looking for this thing. Pump out another seed ship for two thousand. I really think it's I think it's worth it. This is gonna make the home world really really low on population though. So let's make this thing totally totally one hundred percent focused on social manufacturing, so that we can regrow the population a bit. Okay. Load the ship. Another three people. And you're going to head to here. Those are the pirate fleet. We do not want to go near the pirate fleet. So, let's head like... Around the radiation storm. To like here. Okay. Power Matrix and Livius the Third is almost done. After that... Oh, you know what? I think the game had crashed after I had queued up the assembly. That's part of the issue. Okay. I think that's why I did it, do you? Bad Crumble needs some more population as well. Alright, next turn. A single intact defender orbits the remains of a planet destroyed by the terrible weaponry of the Dreadlord's War. BPU. Oh, cool. So we just got a free ship. Mid-range missile boat set up with point defenses. Packs a punch. It's a 50 HP, 5 move. It's got some missiles. What do we want to do with you? Well, um... That is a Thalon ship. Let's get you into the starbase. And it looks like our probe is getting killed by pirates. We'll just do a quick battle on that one. That's obvious. Obviously the probe ship is going to get killed by pirates. But at least we know where they are, so we can hopefully avoid them. Let's go do the colonization manually. Belzeb the Third. Yes! Our scouts report that significant portions of the planet are inhabited by a sentient pod-like creature. These pods bond with other sentient life. Those who are bonded by the pods experience significant physical pain at all times, but have heightened intelligence. <laughs> Excellent! Require all colonists to be introduced to these pods. Yes, I think so. It's pretty good. Um, now, are we going to see that modifier somewhere? We can see it here, but I'd love to see like a summary of all modifiers on a planet. You can't see it like here. You can't. I just. I feel like that there needs to be a summary screen. We've got the Ardus Arboretum, first income plus five percent. All right, that's cool. We've got uh, two to research, one to manufacturing, two to influence, one to wealth, three to tourism. Very touristic planet. Well. Um, Six populations, pretty sweet. I think we need to immediately make, like, the, the power matrix. Well, we don't need the power matrix right away, actually. It's got some good bonuses, but... It might not be a terrible idea just to, like, try doing some assembly or... You know... Manufacturing your... I mean, this doesn't actually increase raw production, though. Let's do, um... I want to just get the population up, honestly. They're sad. Sad robots. And we'll have you do, um, social focus. Just grow the population a bit. Oh, I can't slide it because it's not actually connected to a, a place. That seems fine. Come on, pirates, leave my colony ship alone, please. I 
How are we doing on overall income? We're losing money, but that's okay. So we spent almost all of our money on colony ships. I think it was well worth it. We have an available ideology. Alright, so we ended up with um, Benevolent. We did Outreach. We ended up doing... Um, did we do Pragmatic? Or no? Alright, so we have to choose a Malevolent Ideology. A free frigate class warship, the Intimidation Center, gross income plus 10%, and a shared borders penalty. Let's just take that. That seems like that'd be pretty good. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I do look forward to seeing the next video. Sorry again about the, uh, the crash, but, uh, you know, it's all good. I'll see you again soon.